G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 19, we're about to continue the Eclipse series into Day 9, we're coming out of the last Blood Moon Horde, and we're still down in our little bunker base, but things are slowly, very like, minorly starting to look up for me and my prospects of survival, and I think today is going to be a bit of a watershed day because I've been thinking about what I'm going to be doing with this series kind of off camera because I'm a nerd and I lie in bed at night staring at the ceiling trying to think about what I'm going to do in seven days to die and I think I need to bite the bullet and I need to put a point into advanced engineering I just I need the forge I can't hold out anymore I can't there's a screamer outside apparently, that's always good fun. I can't delay getting a forge any longer, so I need to invest a point into uh, advanced engineering just to get some sort of production going, because I need the materials, I need it, I can't wait to find the blueprint anywhere. I'm also, I already have all of my materials laid out in my hot little hands over here. I'm also going to jump over here, go into this one and make myself a hunting knife. The bone knife has been great. It's been fun. It's been a, a good little ride for us, but I think it's time for us to put that blunt thigh bone away and move into something a little better, a little harder, a little sharper, a little bit more murdery. Going to lean more into our, like classic horror films rather than just like, I found something on the ground and I'm trying to use it to, to defend myself. Especially if screamers and everything is showing up, probably going to need a better knife. My, uh, my fire is still cooking away. That's probably why the scream is outside, actually. I keep hearing things. If I close the doors, I have closed the doors. If the screamer comes down the hatch, comes down the vents into my base, actually, it might be even better because then all the zombies it, uh, it screams in will be upstairs and I'll like, get to take them down one at a time. I'll deal with that in a second though. First and foremost, I need my new weapon. I need my new knife. There we go. New knife is done. Let's grab you and swap over some of the mods or just the one mod I have. Grab you and you. Make sure we get the purple in it as well. How are you going to... Give me the freaking knife. There we go. Grab you and you. Nice. In fact, what are, what's the damages doing? You're doing... You're doing 6 and 23 compared to... What? 7 and 26, I suppose? Plus the one... Also, I did notice as well when I was looking back at the footage that this mod gives me like plus ones for... Uh, well, for everything really. It gives me plus ones on both the normal damage and the power attack damage, which is pretty bloody awesome. The 726 compared to 623. At least I thought it did. And it was just my imagination. No, nope, never mind. Alright, cool bananas. Anyway, there is the new knife. There is the new thing. It looks lovely in its nice shade of purple as well. I can hear some zombies upstairs. Let's quickly go have a gander up there and see what's cracking. See what's going on. Oh, there's a deer. Get the deer, get the deer, get the deer's, deer's food. Took its fucking leg off, but I did just piss off a fucking screamer somewhere. I hope that was worth it. Knifey boy, your time to shine. See how we're gonna go. Oh God, she's right here. I didn't think you were gonna be right here on top of me. Did she scream? I feel like she screamed. Let's quickly put some light down so I can see what's about to happen to me. Oh man, okay, well. What better way to get accustomed to a new weapon than to just throw myself right off the deep end with lead weights attached to my feet and see how quickly we get to the bottom? Oh no! Oh fucking nah, mate. I'm not dealing with a fucking dire wolf. Absolutely fucking not. All right, shit has kicked off very fucking quickly. Uh oh, uh oh, damn it. I was harvesting the deer. Damn it, piss off, buddy. Piss off, piss off. My leg is sprained, that's a good, and I'm infected. Man, I got distracted by trying to harvest the deer up, and he sprained my fucking leg. That's goddamn rude. But at least, at least I have the means to like, combat my infection. There is the level up that I needed for my forge. It's not all bad, I suppose. You need to die. Oh, that was way too much. That was way too much. That was way, way too much to start a freaking episode. I wasn't prepared for that. I thought it was just gonna be like one screamer hanging out upstairs. Ah, oh, piss off this sausage. Go lie in a freaking slice of white bread and drizzle yourself in onions. Well, that was fucking terrible, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, I think I've got a health bar downstairs. I have to go find some of that. Let's uh, let's just eat the honey now. I know it's only 0.3 of, of, of a percent of infection, but that's still pretty bloody bad. I don't want to let that get out of hand. I'll take the rest of the food out of you. That was Jesus Christ. <laughs> I am. Um, Started there with a heart attack, apparently. Oh, old trash, I haven't searched yet, though. Old trash, old trash, short, whatever. Let's get back downstairs and let's take a nap. 
There's the health bar. Quickly give me one of those. Get it down to... If you do those, like, the health bar nice and early, then you get the most benefit from it. So I'm going to make sure I go and find some more of that today. Take the dollar reduce with me just in case I find some. Reload my weapons while I've got the opportunity to. Oh, okay. Well, at Cersei Rough, we're kind of running headlong into a new challenge without any idea about what the shit I was doing. Uh, how much health do you give me? You give me 40 health. It's going to put me up to... Oh, pretty close, actually. Yeah, sure. I'll eat some of those. Get that done nice and early. Didn't, I did max it out, actually, but that's fine. I'll get that back over time. Quickly drink some water to match up with that. Right. Okay. Now that we've got our day off to a terrible start, let's actually get out there and get cracking with our journey. Every move I make just breaks my leg that little bit more, which sucks as I live in the bottom of a... I can't just walk into the ladder, apparently. Get up there. Got to jump every time and add some time onto my death. Oh, man. I might just leave those torches there, you know? Why not have my yard lit up like that? Seems like a pretty good idea to me. Oh, sorry, leg again. Up and over. Ugh. Right. What are we going to do today? I want to get some more dollar redos. I might head out to Trades just to see if I can check his vending machine for another health bar. Because I desperately need one. Does sprinting on my bike hurt me? Yes, a little bit. But only a little bit. And I'm not really, like holding W, so I might be able to get away with this a little bit. This, either way, this isn't particularly great. This is not how I envisioned day nine going. I've given up on using the boosties on the bike. What up, Loz? How you doing? Come over here, please. Stay ah, damn it. Oh, no. Okay, that's something I don't want to deal with a knife. Wait for it. Missed him. Missed him again. Please don't try and teabag me from on far. I'm not in the mood for that right now. I've got a sprained knee. I really not feel like having your nuts like, draped across my face like a set of fucking ski goggles. Around so much, it's so hard to freaking hit your waist. And half my ammo trying to murder a goddamn spider, which is unusual for me. I live in Australia. I'm proficient at killing or trapping and setting free spiders. If I live in my house, that's fine. Just like hang out in the corner and eat all the bugs. There's more than enough food for all of us to go around. You don't have to get in my fucking chicken salad. Piss off, buddy. Oh, God. After all of that, I still gotta shuffle my heels around. I can't move in any sort of pace. I hate, I'd rather break my ankle. I would. I'd rather break my leg than sprain it. Soft tissue injuries are always worse than broken bones. I assume having never broken a bone. <sighs> All right, nothing in there. Nothing in there for me. Well, fuck you too. Actually, that other job you've got is ages away. Let's just get rid of that. Let's even give me a new one. I'm here. I'm here. I'm happy to do it. Give me a job somewhere within a pedaling perimeter and I'm all yours, buddy. Here we go. He does have new jobs. Two buried supplies not too far away either, which is pretty lovely. The other ones are a fair hike. So, two on buried supplies. Medium difficulty, apparently. All right, fair whackers, mate. Just down where all the other ones have been. Apparently, that field down there, apparently, like, this little bit of stretch of forest is just treasure cove. Every pirate, every cowboy, every outlaw who ever had a thruppets to his name has buried that under a tree stump out in that field somewhere for some reason. In fact, is it... It's not quite trading restock day, but I'm going to check again just to make sure. Any lights? No, nothing in there. Anything in you, Knackers? No, There's never mind. Before I forget, road, though, do have a skill point to spend. Advanced engineering. Craft forges and craft on 20% faster. Yes, please. Nice. Okay. Also, my leg is now healed from flapping my gums with old matey potato for so long. Let's get out there. Let's dig up some treasure and hopefully get some decent loot. Oh, hang on. It could... It's a bold move, Cotton. I don't know if it's going to pay off, but there is a berry boy just there. And I do have a blunderbuss and six rounds of magnum. And he's just one big waddling big ball of meat. Nah, it's not worth it. Oh, there's a stag down here. Okay. I might try and go for the stag. Not looking bloody see it anymore. Hanging out over near Nancy. Nancy's apparently getting pretty bloody horny and just couldn't settle for a suction cup. Where's my bow? Now, I got pretty lucky on this last time. If you can stay still for a second, I very much appreciate it. There we go. Way. Oh! <laughs> okay. Well, never mind then. I was going to say way, way too high. Turns out right on the fucking nipple. Murdered that deer with one fell swoop again. I'm getting mildly proficient at this. I'm getting mildly good at the old deer sorters. Venison on the table for days. Didn't even need to go take on a bear. I'm going to just go murder a deer instead. Ow, Nance going to murder me. Piss off, Nance. Look at ya. Look at ya. Where did I hit ya? Can I get my arrow back again? Why do my arrows always explode every time I shoot a deer? I want to know if I got a headshot or not. Well, I mean, clearly you did because you died on the spot. 
Can we all just take a moment to uh, reflect and appreciate the fact that twice now I've taken long, difficult shots at a stag and absolutely nailed it. First try as well. Nice, nice, clean kills. No suffering, no nothing, no bleeding out, no running off into the forest and like chasing the blood patches through the trees. No, no, no. Nice, quick, easy, simple, peaceful, humane murder. Not really as sense used to saying, but I'm pretty impressed with myself. That's unusual for me. I'm a galah. My shooting is normally utterly disgraceful. But for the last little bit, it's actually going reasonably okay for me. Um, let's real quick grab you out of there and bang you in my shovel, because that's more important to me right now. Need some more mods. Thank God my shovel can still accept the way to head mod, unlike my knifey boys. Let's get down here. Let's see where this bloody treasure is. Do this nice and quick, so maybe we can do the other one at the same time. Punch out a couple of jobs. When I do find a health bar, I can buy it immediately. I know from last time that the treasure is usually actually buried reasonably deep down here, so I'm not expecting to get lucky like I have the other times and stumble across it relatively early. But it's not actually a bad thing because I still need, like I do need the clay soil to, um... Okay, that's, that's definitely not where I was aiming. The hitboxes are all on their tits ah, again. They are flopping around like they're sails in a breeze. But I need the, the clay soil anyway to make myself the forge. So not actually a bad thing digging up all the, all the ground. Ooh. There it is right there. Thank you very much. All right, nice and easy. Make sure my guns are reloaded before we get into a fight again. I've already got my torches down upstairs so I can see what's happening. Get my knife out and get it ready and go. What have you got for me? Veggie stew recipe, thank you very much. And a hobo stew. Well, I'll keep it in mind for later on, but not, not much else really tickling my giblets in this box. There we go. Get you started up and out. Just try and lure them around a little bit so we can go to see what we're dealing with. So I couldn't stab on you, or we'll just decapitate you in one, do the same to you, buddy, so you can start bleeding out. Stab and run like the hero, damn it, the hero that I am. Stab you in the eye socket as well. You didn't get slowed down though, you are dead. If I can get some bleeding going on, then they do kind of like fall over and die after not too long. You in the hole? But not super clever. Look at all the blood pouring out here. There you go, you're dead now. I didn't get experience for that. I didn't get experience for a zombie dying by bleeding out of a wound that I inflicted. There's a lot of bullshit in this game. There is a lot of dick cheese seeping out of the end that is this game. That's up there with that. The bear's still up there just wrecking shop. I'm annoyed about that. You would... I'm more annoyed about that than not getting experience for the traps that you invest the resources in not giving you experience. If I go out there and harvest half a goddamn forest to make all of the spikes that I need to or the blade traps or whatever, I deserve the experience from that. If I build, you know, I know you can get the, the perk that gives you half experience and that's fine, but if I'm investing in it, give me the experience. If I stab a zombie in the goddamn face and he gets such a goddamn bad blood nose that he fucking dies, Give me the experience for it. I don't think I'm asking too much for that. I should mention, despite the fact that I um, shit all over this game sometimes and uh, vent my frustrations and voice my frustrations very loudly and angrily, I do love Seven Days. Clearly I do, or else I wouldn't have played it for like <laughs> three years straight at this point. Anyway, what up knackers? What you got for me? First aid kits or a foregrip mod? I can put a foregrip on my Blundy boy and that might come in handy later on. Although I suppose I am getting fucked up more than normal. Oh, but I never usually carry first aid kits except for on Horde Nights. Stop bleeding, suture lacerations, and abra abrasion healing speed. 400% even. Oh, I think I've got some at home though. I don't know. I don't know what the right option here is. I'm gonna go... Oh, I want to go, I'm, I'm trusty gut, Josh. I'm going to go the foregrip mod because it means it's something I can actually use right now and get the I next buried supplies quest in the northeast, really? which will be this kind of makes us out in the now. snow. Oh, I thought the dire walls were bad. I thought the dire walls and the bears were bad. How about we go and tickle the giblets of some yetis and then get eaten by a mountain lion? What a wonderful idea that is. Before I leave though, I do now have enough money to buy Pistol Paint Volume 4, which I may never find again. And it's what, what is it? The Degrade 20% Slows, that's actually pretty good for me. Let's click off that so I don't accidentally sell that book. There's nothing else in here that I needed, I don't think from memory, not particularly. I was hoping for some mods or something to bang into my Magnum, but I guess not but today. Bad, stranger. No wackers knackers. All right, let's uh, get out of here. Read that book real quick. I'm a little hungry, a little thirsty. 
Let's just eat these ones first before we start blowing our load on the hobo stew before it's actually time for it. We've got 64 food. Tw only 20 water, actually, for a stew. I think you get more out of it. That's all right, though. Gobble up all of this stuff. Scrap you for the iron. Piss off the jar. All right, let's go dig up that other treasure. Lots to be done today. And it's just running errands for old mate who's lost his wall to the hole somewhere. Quickly stop and grab this uh, cheeky deeky little tree stump here. I hope it gives me some more honey to replace the one I had to eat before after I got punched in the face by a big tooth of a dire wolf. Gimme, 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 please. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Back to five. I don't, I don't want to have to, like, I don't have to roll with the honey on me all the time. I'm kind of like trying to figure out what my normal day to day loadout is going to be for this series. Oh, I hate going into the winter. I hate going to the winter so freaking much. There's yetis out there already. If, and, it, and it's raining. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. There's no fucking clouds, but no, it's still going to piss all over me head. It's actually Zeus who's taking the, the P155. He's literally taking a piss on my head. Uh, can I go like this real quick, please? Yes, I can, and fucking murder you with that four times damage. I know I'm trying to go more and more with the um with the knife and stuff, but hey, if I get the opportunity to use a bow and save my, my, my skin just a little bit more, I'm gonna do it. Put the torches down so I can see if something comes up for me. Back in the snow again. Feels like we just left the snow, but hey, what do you know? Here we are again, all over from the start. Narrow down the circle to not a whole lot. So I should be able to find it relatively simply now. That was, I was talking about this before. That was the one perk. There were no perks of living in only a winter world, but that was the one perk of it being a winter biome is that you can like, uh, like scrape off the top layer of all the snow very, very quickly, very easily and narrow down the treasures nice and fast. Although that still doesn't want to get down into the dirty stuff. Oh, I hate those nighttime sounds. There it bloody is. Uh, what's my plan of action for when this goes down? I don't want to cause too much of a ruckus in case that Yeti over there comes and picks a fight with me. Anything else around? Doesn't really look like it. So I should be okay from mountain lines and stuff. Knock on wood. Alright, well, only one thing for it. Make sure my guns are loaded. Yes, and yes. Nice. Okay, well, what have you got for me? Anything worthwhile? Golden Rod Seed Recipe. Not particularly great. Mega Crush. Tan Dog Food. Large Beef Rushes. Some more honeys and some water. All right, well, no time like the present then. Who are we going to deal with this time? Who's coming for me? Ooh, lots of them. All right, well, let's try the same theory again. Let's go in the early stab just to get them bleeding. We might lose out on the experience, but it might actually work out for us in the end. Right, right, circle a little bit. Loza, shit, get ow, Arlene, please, with the Jonah Gadget fucking extendo arms. Piss off with that nonsense. Some quick fire stabs. More stabbies. Lots of stabbies, lots of beheading. Dip your chips to celebrate. Skomo's over here. He heard there was salsa and he's like, oh, I've got a family pack of Doritos stashed in my back pocket as just a cheeky midnight snack. What up, Tubby? Cheeky stab. Carve you up. There you go. There you go. Dip your chips in you too. Nice. That actually went reasonably well. Reasonably smoothly, if I'm being honest. Grab my torches back, jump back on the bike, and go back to tradies. No more jobs for today. I'm not pedaling eight kilometers away, but at least we did our job. I've been doing some thinking as well, because I'm a nerd, about what I'm going to do about horde bases and stuff like that, because we all know that day seven didn't go well for me at all, even a little bit. So I do need to think about something to do about horde bases. And normally I try and steer clear of doing like the same thing twice. So like I've already done, you know, like hatch hallways and I've done the extinction base and stuff like that with just like a barricade in front of me. And I normally try and stay away from doing, uh, doing that again, but I think in this case, I don't think there's a better option than that. Having like a small wall or something to keep the zombies within arm's reach so that I can still stab them. I think that's the only option that I've got for this. I might have to kind of tinker around with that idea a little bit go, and see how we go with it. 20 pipe bombs with three vitamins. I'll take the pipe bombs, thank you, but not really what I was after. Got no other jobs. Can you just tell me where, where some of your friends are, please? I know there is one 18 miles away, all the way down here, was it? Look, all the way down there. But I'm, I'm not pedaling that far. Not until I got like a freaking gyrocopter or something, I'm going to try and pedal out that way. Um. All right, well, not much else to do. I've already done I've already done more in the first morning of this night, that's a hard, weird sentence to say, um, than I was really intending on doing for a whole day. So. Let's go find a sneaky little POI for us to raid. Nothing too big, because again, I'm only running with a hunting knife and a couple of hastily thrown together guns. So I'm really not packing too much heat. But I can find something small and relatively easy that I can run through and find some decent loot at the end of. That would be the perfect situation for me. Uh, work petrol. Okay, I've already done that one. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go, let's go that way, actually. Back towards where we kind of started out and see what's over there. 
There should be something for me in this town. I haven't been through everything yet. Don't give up hope just yet, Josh. Oh, actually, what I can do is go break down that workbench. Don't need a workbench anymore. I have one at home. Could break this one down for its parts. While I'm at it, given I am just here, I'm about to stop off and drop all the things off into my house. Stick up all the things out of that workbench. Found some cobble and cement as well. Gotta make sure that I am on the ball from now on. Grabbing any sort of cobble and cement that I find on my journeys. Must make, I take them with me at every given opportunity. You need another minute of fuel. There you go. It's probably a bit excessive, actually. Let's take you back. I'll just go like... No, not the torch, you gala. Grab this one. 50 seconds. Another nine. Oh. Why... Why do you think I was going to be any different, Josh? Can I go like this? Can I really, like, make it work for me? Right on the tip. Uh, what else can I burn? What else is going to burn my inventory? Can I burn snow? No, of course not. Can I burn leather? Yes, I can. Nice. All right, turn you on. That's a weird concoction of stuff, but we got the job done eventually. Let's take all of you guys out of there because I like having some food. We'll refill my stomach with all the good stuff and get on our way. Look at that, though. We're starting to get our life together. It's looking good. While I'm down here, what do I need for my four... That's a, that's a dodge, Josh. Have you spell something for, uh, correctly for once in your bloody life? Even if you misspelled it as I was yelling at myself for it. 50 stones, clay soil, leather, duct tape, short iron pipe. Okay. Uh, can I get this thing organized, please? Uh, duct tape. I need short iron pipes. I need stones. I need clay. Was it leather, the other one as well? Yes, it was. Nice. Can I make two of them straight off the bat? Yes, I can. Always good to have two forges. Not that I ever really use them efficiently, but I like having two. Two of those bad boys. Thank you very much. Put the rest of this stuff back into here. We can come back again on a rainy day. Uh, am I going to need you guys? I'm still getting... Actually, I'm not getting any food anymore. How much do you give me? Ten. Let's just eat both of them. Why not? Eat both of them. Hydrate yourself. Satiate yourself. Let's get up. Let's get out of here. Let's go find somewhere to raid. It's only a quarter past two. Still plenty of time. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling the rhythm. I'm feeling the rhyme. No, I'm not going bobsledding, no. It's another cool runnings reference. It's been a couple of those lately. I should watch that movie again. It's a fucking great movie. There's this passing gas out here, which is a different one to what I'm... Ow! Jesus, where the nipples did you come from? I got off my bike and stood on your noggin. I didn't bloody see you there. All right, now you've woken up all your friends too. All right, fine. If that's how you want to do it, that's how we're going to do it. Is it just a businessman? I think it is. Let's go with the knifey boy because we can. There we go. As long as I get that stagger when I stab him the first time, I'm usually okay. If they just like push through it, like they're the Dean trying to hug Jeff and just impale themselves but keep on coming towards me, I'm going to get hugged against my will and I'm going to get tickled in a really bad way. Who else is around here? Anyone else? They're gonna come out for me. That's all right. Just kind of searching all the garbage. Come with my little, my little fighting ring over here. Come to bring a fire. Come lick my purple knife. Come on, bud. God, you're feeling really slow. You're all right, bud. I mean, not right anymore. Oh, I see you. I see you. You know what? We're going knifeys. Knifey spiders. Come on, bud. Take a, take the leap. There you go. Over the top of your bike. Get your bleeding. Stab you again. Maybe I should use the knife from now on. Screw the Magnum. I'm a shit shot with it anyway. The knifey boy does the job. I see you over there, Charles. Guarding the box of all the good loot. Have that for me. Thank oh. <laughs> I have to go inspect that. I know there's going to be more. Oh, there's one high at the top two. I have to go inspect that shot on Chelsea. I want to see the damage I've done. I'm pretty sure she went full King Harold and copped that right in the eye. Oh, apparently not, though. But Josh has some friends. That's fine. Stab you real quick. Sort you out. You can get it, too. I know you're a janitor. I'm going to clean up your own guts in a second. Catch you later. Cheeky tea bag. I wish I could roll over. I'm pretty sure that's gone straight through the front of her forehead. Pretty pretty happy with that. Unusually good shot for me. Although, I haven't been in fine form with the bow lately. Probably should back myself in a little bit more than I currently do. Put another torch over here. That door is locked. The only kind of problem I've got right now is that the whole POI is so broken up and so busted, I can't even really tell where I'm supposed to be going. Stealthy boys, stealthy murder, stealthy decapitation, as always. Can't get my arrow back, as always. Anyone else out here? Now, let's start in the front room and work our way through. There's lots to be looted. They're just going to find where everything is. Oh, God. Okay, there are lots... I'm in a very small room with a lot of zombies coming for me. That's a feral as well. Quickly, can I sort you out, please? I sat him down, but he's going to get back up again pretty bloody soon. Uh, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of the window. Oh, it's all scary. It's all scary and awful out here. Take your arm off. Take your life off. Bloody boy. Time to shine. When there's a couple in a row, that's when bloody boy comes out to play. Oh, God, I got way too close. What is going on here? Why are there a billion zombies out here all of a sudden? 
Is that you? No, for say, stop running through the, like, still beating carcass of your friend to come and try and cuddle me. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. This guy deserves a teabag, though. He's died. He's the one-armed man, but he still wants a good old ship dipping nice and deep inside. Save you. Murder you. Are we okay? Can we have a moment of peace and quiet, please? Jeez, I came out of nowhere. I was having a wonderful time just cruising around looking for things, and suddenly, a small horde's beating down my windows. So far, nothing good at all. Raided right this whole end of the building here and really got donuts out of it. Car parts box. Bicycle handlebars, thank you. Don't need them anymore. I had to go make my own, but thank you for finally giving me something worthwhile. Already read that book. I'll take the paper, because why not? Search all of these things for some fluids. Nice couple of frothies. Thank you very much. Take my torch back so I can see again. You hiding something? No. No. Maybe something inside you. No, nope, just the empty glass jars, because of course. What else is around? You hiding anything? Sneaky duffel bag with... Tier 4 padded leg armor as opposed to my tier 3s. Look at that. I finally found an upgrade. Not particularly great, but it's something after all. Put you into there. Thank you very much. Just scrap you. I probably need some more torches. Hey. If I find some more animal fat, I've got the wood. I've got the, the cloth fragments. If I find some animal fat, I can make some. Can I pick these things? No, I can't. Or oh, there's something inside here. I want to know what it is. Well, I can't really see anything under there either. Are you hiding something good or are you just like taking the piss? It looks like you're just taking the piss. I'm not sure there's actually anything worthwhile in there. I think it's just trying to lure me into my death. Making our way into the back rooms. More server boxes and well, lots of boxes actually. Jeez, is anyone actually protecting all this? I was expecting some of this to be a trap and be like a false floor, but I mean, apparently not. All right, I'm okay with that. Light up the room so we can see a little bit better. Lots to be gotten in here. Lots to be had. Lots to be searched. Lots to be la uh, raided. Hmm. What am I hoping for here, though? I also don't have my uh, my Luton gogs on. I'm rolling with the exp uh, the XP gogs. I don't have any of my goggles on me, so that might be a contentious decision. Could go back home and get them, but ah, uh, whatever. We'll do it another day. No point in me like holding out till like later on just for glasses' sake. I'm sure I'll find something eventually. May as well if I'm here now, loot now, and not try and hold out for something better, because that's when things go wrong and I just forget to come back at all. Uh oh. That sounded like a bad time. It's either a white or it's a Bernie boy. I'm not sure which one it's gonna be. You need to die, please. Thank you. It looks like a Bernie boy, given there's embers floating through the door. Fire can't go through walls, dummies. They're not a ghost, but apparently zombies can. Can I, like, help you out at all there, bud? Yes, I can. That's only made out of wood. I'm gonna real quick just, like, search this one so I can see what's inside. Nothing of use. Never mind, then. Open that up. How you doing, bud? How you doing? Want to test my knife? There you go. No, stay still. Stay still, you pillock. You're hopping around like a fucking mad kangaroo. There we go. Finally. Okay, now we can get back to what we were doing. Garage storage. What have you got? Nothing. What have you got? Nothing. What have you got? What? <laughs> Fuck you, game. Fuck you, game. I spent that point on Grease Monkey purely, purely so I can make myself a bike. I made myself a pass to make a bike, and you've given me everything I need right there. Every time. Every time with this goddamn game. You try and play by its rules and goes, haha, that was awesome, but how about I just dick you over instead? Got a wall safe in the back here. You're not hiding anything. The lockers are also not hiding. They do have some yellow dye in you though, but I'm wearing better boots, so no thank you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, someone knows I'm here. Someone knows I'm here and is pretty annoyed about it. Ah, oh, you're gonna take a while to get through there. That's fine. I got time. I got time. Don't have to drop everything I got because someone comes knocking on the window, Josh. What's in the backpack? Some sham. Thank you. Filing counter. What have you got for me as well? <sighs> Nothing again. Well, let's pick our way into this one. I got four lockpicks. So I'll have a red hot crack at it. Old Mate Patati outside will eventually make his way in here. But hopefully by then, I'll have been gone, murdered him, and then probably gone to the roof and hopefully found some better loot up there. There's the zeros. Get me in. It did cost me a couple lockpicks, but that's okay. What have you got? Three silver nuggies. Not particularly fantastic, but sure, whatever. Oh, I was going to try and beat my way through there. I've already beat my way through this way instead. Keep the torch out so we can see. Is there an easier way to get to the roof? The only way that I kind of saw before was to try and climb. Oh, did I search all these? No, there's nothing in them anyway. Everything here is done. The only way that I saw was kind of like up through here. Maybe there's something sneaky up here for me. I don't know. That's why it gives us frames though. Up and up. Doesn't look like much. There's a couple of boxes. I was hoping for like a reinforced chest or something, but it's not to be. Bud, 
But I don't know who you are, what you are, or what you're trying- Oh, there's an ammo crate up here. Fuck yeah. Thank God I came and checked. All right. I'm on board. I'm on board. Give me the shrooms. What's in the bag here? Some splints and a flashlight. Nice, nice, nice. But please. I mean, look. I know you're not supposed to store your firearms and your ammo in the same box. That's part of Australian law. Do the same thing here anyway. You are the same as what I just put on my legs anyway, but you did give me some ammo, which I appreciate. You are slightly in better health, so I'll sop you over. All right, fair enough then. Not terrible, not great, but you know, somewhere in between. Most of these boxes are actually Shamway boxes, which is not good for me because Shamway boxes are always a waste of time and they are continuing. Oh, this is a cardboard box. Sorry, I was wondering why I found bullets in the food. That's a really weird place to keep them. He's still downstairs getting all sorts of rowdy about it. I'll take you. I'm still looking out for like, lock picks and stuff. So I always got to search the garbage. No. Fine. And nothing. All right. Fair, fair, fair. Don't need the bedroll. Don't need you. Right, I'll take my torch back. You hiding anything in this thing? No, nope, never is. Never mind. Searched all of this. Everything's done. All right. Let's get out of here then. I think we've just about blown our load on this one. I think we've just about licked this pop school stand clean. Who is it? You. You're the one who's been rattling around my eardrums all this bloody time. Get out here so I can carve off your eardrums. Up and over. Stab. That's what you get. All that work just to have your melon explode like a hot summer's day. Should have learned your lesson, bud. Should have pissed off. It's funny to me that even though it's night all the time, just don't, don't be fooled by the sunrise over there. We know how that works now. But even though it's night all the time, I still have it like in the back of my head that I need to get home before 2200. I'm not sure why I have that in my head, but I just kind of do. That's all still well, well lit up over here. I'll probably take that back now, given half the fence has fallen down. Close that behind me, just to be sure. What I should do as well, actually... Um, yeah, I will do it. I will do it. I'll get rid of these bottom rungs of the ladder. If I have to jump off the ladder anyway, it does actually serve me any purpose clogging up my floor with the extra ladder rungs. It also means that zombies can see that as a path, which I don't think I want them to be able to do. Let's go into here. Let's go mats. Let's put all of you into there. I'm annoyed about this, although they are, they are worth a fair bit of money, so I'll sell them. No whackers. Where are my looting gogs in nowhere? Do I not have looting gogs? Could have sworn I did my ski goggles in there, and that's fine. No. Am I just losing the plot? I may well just be losing the plot. All you go into there, please. The spuds and the shrooms that I found as well. Got an extra stone axe, which does the same as you. So I'll scrap you. Use the stone to repair that one. Thank you. Sellables all go into this one. You and you. Ammo and tools. Flashlight accounts. That's all right. Might need one at some point later down the track. Let's die something blue. You want to be blue? There you go. Double D, double die. Nice and medical. Boom. Inventory sorted. How are you looking in here? Two forty boys rocking and ready to go. Now, part of me, I talked about this the other week. The, uh, the other week, the other day. I want to bang it up there, but the problem is I can't like put a shelf or something there to make it look like it actually has a place. It's going to look really ridiculous stashed up the top like that. Uh, hmm. I don't know what the best option here is going to be. Well. I'll deal with that later. I'll put you in there for the moment. I'll put the other forge in there. I don't need two forges right now anyway. I just made it just because I could. Let's start smelting down a couple of these uh, wrenches that I don't need. Let's go into there. Thank you. Smelt you away. Gonna take two minutes. No whackers. Have like another... Have another one piece of wood. I'm a generous fuel god. There you go. Two minutes. Nice. It's gonna take a little while. That should give me lots of iron. What else needs to be done? What else is on my list? I did at some point get another point. I'm not sure when. Must have been like part of the whole like murder spree I was going on. I'm going to put it into Pea Shooter. I know there are better things for me to put in that point into right now. But if I start specking into my offense, if I can kill zombies quickly, it gives me more time to like worry about all the other stuff like that. So like offense in my mind is always first and foremost. After that, I might start specking into some other things like running gun especially needs to be done too. You're reloaded. Nice, nice, nice. Make sure my blundy boy is reloaded as well. I hate how long... I hate how long the real animations actually are before it counts as being reloaded. There's that half a second pause after your guy, like, settles his gun again. Where the game's still like, you haven't finished reloading yet. So there's still zero rounds in the chamber. I wish you to go, like... Remember, like, in the old Modern Warfare, the old Call of Duties, where, like, as soon as the magazine was in the gun in the animation, that counted as being reloaded. I really like that. I hope they bring it into this one instead. I mean, I'm not hopeful, but I I have the hopes and dreams that we'll get dashed across the rocks at some point, though. 
What else do we need to do? What else is like pressing? I don't even know. What is pressing? So trying to plan out tomorrow in my head. It is day 10, which is trading restock day. So I'll bang out there. Hopefully he's got some new jobs for me that aren't on the other side of the planets. And I'm pretty sure at some point I've seen a shotgun messiah store around here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where it is. I've kind of ridden past a couple times and like think in my head, oh, I'll make note of that and I'll go back there another day. But now I just don't remember where it might have actually been. I'm pretty sure that's the passing gas that I was just at two seconds ago and I came up this way. So it might be down here somewhere, one of these buildings. So after I go to trade this tomorrow, I might bang about and go see if I can find that, um, that shotgun messiah. But other than that, I mean, I still like all these little ones down here I've got to kind of get through. Anything that's got a reinforced chest in it is a gold mine for me to potentially find a pistol. I'm still dreaming of finding a pistol. And when the day I do, I'll retire the Magnum because it's fucking woeful anyway. I hate the Magnum. I hate the Magnum so freaking much. It's just a, a, a purchase a weapon in my hand out of necessity more than anything else. There is the morning time followed immediately by the night time because they change over simultaneously. You're still cooking away. I should probably actually grab you. Go like that. Put some clay in there. We need to make some forge stuff eventually. Gotta find a crystal. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 Fucking relax, Forgey boy. There you go. I was saving especially for you. Like we have a toddling you buy his 18th birthday present before he's even fucking learned to walk. I had that pine fire a long time ago. Uh, there you go. You can have that back again. You can keep on burning all night long. Good, 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 good. Okay. What's my next objective then? What's my next thing? Other than seeing trading and stuff, I think it's just weaponry, right? I know that's all I've really got to go on right now, which isn't a whole lot, but at least it's something. I'm just kind of thinking to myself about what I'm going to be doing for like, you know, the rest of this series kind of thing for as long as I manage to survive at it. And as much as I love this bunker, I did kind of want to go live in the Sky Needle, but I'm just not sure about it. You know, I actually kind of really like this place. It's got like the nice little... Fucking no. Damn it. It's got the nice storage area that I can have all my crafting stuff into. Just don't be another wolf, all right? I don't care if it's just the screaming mole. But if it's a wolf as well, and we're really upset about it. Come on. Come on. Do your thing. Do the one job you've got. Open up that bloody hatch so I can blow your noggin away. You are taking your sweet ass time, love. Go for the wooden one then. Look, it's almost broken right next to you. There you go. Oh, she, dug she dodged it. Gotcha. Not great shooting, admittedly. The first bullet went into the house over there because she dodged it like Neo. Second bullet got caught in the fence. That's all right, though. That's all right. The screamers are going to be a real issue. They're all over the freaking place. And yeah, as much as I want to, like, live in the Sky Needle, I'm not sure how much of an actual, like, viable option it is. It would be kind of cool to have that view. But I just really, I really like how the bunkers laid out. Can I have two homes? Can I be my holiday home? Can I like pick and choose between them? Because I really like this place. I don't want to abandon it so quickly. Anyway, guys, with the Screamer murdered and my forge burning away with some loggy boys for good measure, just to get myself some forged goodness coming into my nose. I'm going to have to leave this, as, as this episode here. Jeez, I struggled through that one. So tomorrow is trading day. Then we'll go see if we can find that Shocker Messiah and maybe raid the Space Needle, seeing how we feel when the time comes. I'll have to try and see how I feel in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the Patreon, the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you all like to make sure you hit the like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.